Hi guys, welcome back to my illness series. Today we're going to be talking about coccidiosis. But first, I'm going to give the three disclaimers that I always give at the beginning of these videos. One, I'm not a licensed veterinarian. My word is not law. I am simply educating people based on articles I am reading on the internet in order to help people uh, be able to more quickly ascertain what is wrong with their animal and go to a vet, which leads me into my second disclaimer. Please, if you are unsure about anything with regards to your duck, call your vet, take them to the vet. Go to your vet first. If you watch this video and are thinking, hmm, I'm still not very sure, call your vet. I will always say that. I would rather you call your vet and be able to treat your animal the right way than just watch my video and attempt to do what my video says. Um, always call your vet. Third, I'll be reading directly from my computer because I do not want to attempt to memorize any of this and then give you guys misinformation. So let's talk about coccidiosis. Ducks rescued out of commercial duck farming might be coccidia carriers without being symptomatic, which can cause problems to their new flock or if they are struck with another disease. Signs to look out for include bloody droppings, thin and low appetite birds, sluggishness and fewer eggs laid, or sudden deaths in the flock. Coccidia can spread through, the, through dirty and wet bedding and contaminated clothing, shoes, and equipment. Good hygiene can prevent infection. Regular fecal testing can detect the disease. If detected, you can apply a deworming treatment of your veterinarian's recommendation. Wormers can be purchased at farmer supply stores in simple formulas that are added to a duck's water, but you must ensure that they are water, waterfowl safe first. Coccidia is not easy to eliminate, so you may need frequent treatments to get rid of it. So, if you ever take a duck out of commercial duck farming, which isn't very popular, but if you do, be very wary of this disease. Um, definitely call your vet, just like it says. Sorry, Oliver. Oliver's talking to me right now. Um, talk to your vet about treatment plans about what to give them. Don't just go to a farm supply store and buy the first thing you see. Definitely talk to your vet about which one will be right for your duck and make sure to stick with the treatments. It, as, it, as this article says, it's not easy to eliminate. Do not fall off the wagon with giving your ducks the treatment because it will likely come back. As always, I will link the symptoms in the description of this video. So if you're in an emergency and just need to see the symptoms, it'll be there. Thank you for watching.